Today we're talking about strategically placed holes. Day 39. All right, so today we're doing something different. We are experimenting. We're wanting to add a way to add more light to come through these walls. Now we've done some individual bottles, but we want to do some larger sort of spaces where we can put groups of bottles to let more light come through. So we were going to do tires and then take it out and like do carbon bottle bricks. But then we realized we had these sitting around and these are actually the perfect size. They're the perfect width so that they take up, they go the full width of the bag. They're a good size so that when we pull these back out after we build the bags around them, there's plenty of room to put, you know, more than like two or three bottles inside. And I think we've come up with a good way to sort of mount them in here so they will be easy to get out later. So what we're gonna do is focus on the back half of the run and the coupe. Um, because we want to get these bags up all the way over this so that we can pull it back out and put those carbon bottles in. So that means the front half of the run will be neglected for a few days. Does that make sense? It makes sense in our head. So the idea we have for how to put these uh, in here and actually be able to get them out once the bags are around them is we're gonna put a, this is a two by six, probably a two by four over there. Anyway, we're gonna put a piece of wood directly underneath this and then we're gonna screw down through the bucket, through the wood, into the bag, and then just build the bags up around it. And then when we're ready to take it out, we'll unscrew it, we'll pull this out from underneath, and then... That'll drop the bucket a little bit. Yeah, the bucket should drop down, it should be loose. We should be able to pull it out. That's our idea. It should we'll work. We'll see how it goes. Oh, anyway, all right, ready? Here, here we go. Happy safety police, we've taken up our stakes. You'll remember in yesterday's video, Someone was tamping so hard that the tamp just broke. I don't know who it was, but we got a new tamp and it's heavier, so we'll see if it helps. We're having a custom one made by the way, but that's still in progress. So anyway, this one's 20 pounds. I think the other one was like 10 or 15. So it's a little heavier, so maybe I won't have to whack it so hard. It's pretty nice. I like having that extra weight.
welcome back to Book Club Thursday. My book pick this week is Amulet. There's eight books in this series, so I'm just going to give you a hint on the first one. Maybe that will get you interested. Let me tell you. So, basically, two kids, brother and the sister, and the mother, move into a mysterious house of their grandfather. (laughs) Great-grandfather. The mother goes missing mysteriously in the middle of the night, so the brothers and sisters go towards the basement and find a whole new world that will change their lives. Also, this is a graphic novel series. All the drawings are really cool, just go check it out. I've changed my mind. I don't like this tent. Sounds like it's gonna break every time I use it. Listen to this. I don't know what would be loose inside of it. It's supposed to be a single piece of metal. I don't know. It does not sound good though. It does not instill confidence. But it tamps nice. Well, yeah. I mean, the extra weight is good. Sure. Nine, nine. Nine, nine. up day 39 guys we didn't quite get it all of the things done that we wanted to we did realize that because we're moving so fast that doesn't give the bags time to dry so that we could go over it again we went so fast that we couldn't do it yeah which i guess is a good thing but also kind of a pain yeah because i mean the sun's not down and we're not working it's weird that's okay maybe sometimes we stop a little early and have a little bit of time off in the evening Maybe I'll, that's a good thing. I'll allow it only because there's a holiday coming up. It's true. Yes. So anyway, we're just going to call it for today. We'll come back tomorrow and we will go up a whole other course on this back half. Yeah. That's the plan. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because tomorrow's video, you do not want to miss. That's right. It's a Christmas extravaganza. Get ready. Get ready. We'll see you then. <laughs>